Hey y'all, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my weekly grocery haul. All right, so if you are new here, again, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so it will notify you each time I upload a video. I share my weekly grocery haul, usually from Walmart Grocery Pickup, which is my fave. And also I share my meal plan. This week, I hope I don't disappoint anybody, but I don't really have a meal plan. I have plenty of food. I'm going to meal plan, just haven't done it yet with all the craziness that's going on with the mm -mm virus. I don't even want to say it. I'm getting tired of hearing it. Um, everybody's in a panic. There's no groceries. There's nothing to buy. There's no meats. There's no toilet paper. There's nothing. So you kind of got to be tricky. So I sent my husband out this morning to our local um, Ingles to see if there were anything on the shelf this morning. And he scored. <laughs> I guess you want to call it that. So we've got enough groceries to last us for a couple weeks actually here now. So um, I'm going to show you guys what all we picked up. He spent about $287. Um, we, I mean, we have meat here. We have some chicken and we have some hamburger and bacon and, you know, meats in our freezer and things like that to get us through. But it's just scary to think about not having access to those things that we normally have access to. So... We did go and get um, a couple things today, just to be sure. So I'm going to show you guys why we picked up. All right, so yeah, this is what happens when you send your husband to the grocery store with a kind of list. I didn't have my whole list together, <laughs> and I just said, get some snacks or get, you know, stuff to last, this and that. So this is what all he came home with, and I was just like, for real, Jeff, for real, so anyway, all right, we're going to start over here with the fruits and vegetables. He went ahead and got some green grapes and some bananas, which I've got a million bananas. I guess I'm making some banana bread today or something. He got two loaves of the ballpark um, hamburger buns. Um, these are really the best buns in my opinion. I really like those. Um, if I'm trying to be you know, budget friendly, I'll get the store brand, but those are actually the best. So... It looks like we're going to be having hamburgers or maybe some sloppy joes or something. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Got a um, container of the Lay's Stacks here. We've got um, two packs of mandarin oranges in 100% juice. We've got some cosmic brownies here. These are my son's favorite. And they'll probably be gone by, the, by this afternoon. Um, I've got a thing of fruit snacks here. This is the berries and cherries. That actually looks really good. Mama might get into those. And then we always try to keep these on hand. These are like the Nutri-Grain bars. Um, I think each store has their own brand now, it seems, anyway. So i got those. We've got some uh, Double Stuff Oreos here. Let's see. I've got... A container of Maxwell House. I typically get the Walmart brand, um, just donut shop or whatever. But I guess I just told him to get whatever, whatever was on sale. So that's what he brought home. So, you know, got to deal with it. Got some vegetable oil. We weren't out, but I guess he felt like he needed to go ahead and get that. We've got some jasmine rice here. The stores are out of rice. They're out of pintos. They're out of all of the, you know, like shelf stable stuff. So... We like jasmine rice, so we'll just deal with that. Got a pack of these for hard times. <laughs> Got um, some Ritz crackers here. And I went to Ingalls one day last week um, before all this craziness. Um, and I found these, the Funfetti um, pancake mix. And we have fell in love with these. And they don't have them at Walmart. So I guess I'm going to have to start going to Ingalls to pick this up. So Jeff brought home two more of those today. Um, we've got a pack of sugar here. We've got some flour. And this is our favorite um, cornmeal mix, the Tinder Bake brand. Um, I have my mom's um, old iron, uh, what is it, cast iron skillet. And the recipe for the best cornbread is just right there on the back of the bag. It is delicious. It makes the best cornbread. It's not sweet cornbread. Um, but, you know, it's good with, like, soups and things like that. 
So we'll have that. We already had some, but I guess he felt the need that we needed some more. I got two back, uh, two boxes of Zesta crackers here. Sorry that it's so dark. Uh, my, I've got lights ahead, lights above, and then the light from outside. I guess it's kind of messing with everything. We've got a bag of the Berry Colossal Crunch here with marshmallows. That looks really good. I'm gonna send him shopping more often. He gets some good stuff. And then we've got just a regular box of cornflakes here. All right, we've got some natural Gia creamy. He said that almost all of the um, peanut butter was gone. So he wanted to go ahead and get us some of that. We've got a box of Crystal Light Fruit Punch. We were, we're running low on ketchup, and he swears by Heinz. I honestly don't care what brand we get, but he loves Heinz, so he always gets that. And then our chocolate milk I make with the Hershey Simply Five. This is coffee bar necessities for me. <laughs> I, he went ahead and got two. Um, I'm not completely out in my refrigerator. I, already, I have, still have about two-thirds of a bottle in my refrigerator, but he went ahead and got me two because he knows I love, how much I love my coffee. And then we just put the Ready Whip on top. We've got some meat here. I typically get the Oscar Mayer natural um, turkey. I think it's like oven roasted turkey, but he said that the pickings on the sandwich meat were few and far between, so we just got what we could get. We got some maple honey uncured deli fresh ham here. So it looks decent. It'll probably be good. Um, we've got two packages of bacon. He went ahead and got some more hamburger meat. Um, I already have some in the freezer, but we just went ahead and got some more. You want some more grapes? Here. All right, hold on just a second, okay? Hold on. He's got two packs of the Hebrew National Beef Franks here. We typically do beef um, hot dogs. And you know what I just realized? We don't have any hot dog buns. That's okay. We'll deal with it. We might have to pop back through the store. You can't ever tell. And it looks like we've got three um, breasts of chicken here. It just goes to show that when I go to Walmart, I can save so much more money because this was $4.38 a pound. And I normally get it for like $1.80 a pound at Walmart. Makes me sick thinking about that. <laughs> Who else does that make sick? Got a block of mild cheddar cheese here. We've got our cookie dough. Yum, yum. That looks good. Um, we've got some sliced cheese here. He picked up sharp cheddar this week. I normally get mild, but that's fine. We've got 18 eggs. We weren't completely out of eggs, but I guess since there were some in the store this time, he went ahead and felt the need to get some. Here he comes back again. We've got some Danimals. This is strawberry and wild watermelon. He went ahead and got some canned food today. We've got six, six, hold on. We've got six cans of chicken noodle. We've got eight cans of tomato. We've got two cans of pink salmon and two cans of cream of chicken soup. He's been talking about wanting to make salmon stew again. He made it a couple of weeks ago and it was really good. So, I guess he's wanting that again, just in case. But we don't have any evaporated milk, so I, I didn't remind him to get that because I didn't know that he was going to get salmon, but whatever. We've got two gallons of 2% milk back here. Again, their milk is like $2 and maybe 69 cents. I can't remember, to be quite honest. Aldi's is 99 cents. It breaks my heart to spend that much money on milk. <laughs> And then he got a um, bottle of just regular apple juice. We have some here, but just a little more is not going to hurt anybody. So we've got some frozen burritos here. This is Tina's loaded five layer. Um, this is a vegetarian with pinto beans, rice, cheese. Okay. And then this one is a grilled um, white meat chicken with red rice, Monterey Jack. Like that beef and cheese burrito and then a beef and bean burrito this is just kind of to have in the freezer for whenever somebody's hungry got some pizza rolls here i was in there the other night and they like their whole fr freezer section was wiped out i mean it was ridiculous um corn dogs 16 of those he picked up some ice cream sandwiches which sounds really good okay it is what time in the morning <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 30 i'm thinking about eating ice cream whatever got some fish sticks here i'm sure that'll be a dinner for one night some steak cut 
fries. And then we've got two pizzas here. We've got Red Baron four cheese pizza, and then we've got a deluxe pizza. Look at that. That's my favorite. I'm the only one in the house who eats um, deluxe. He must have been feeling sorry for me this morning. <laughs> we've got some Kool-Aid jammers here. We've got some Blue Moon. Okay. Sorry, guys. Harrison doesn't realize um, that he doesn't have to scream when he comes to the kitchen, apparently. We've got some Diet Pepsi. We were out of straws. We got those. And then we got a four count of toilet paper. All right, you guys, that is going to do it for my Ingalls grocery haul today. I hope you have enjoyed my video. If you have, go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I hope you'll stick around and come back and visit me again. Leave me a comment if you have anything to say. I hope everybody is staying healthy and staying in and, what's that word? Social distancing themselves from everyone. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great week and stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.